So Inshona, as the name implies, is all about our beaches. Uh, so Inshona is coined from English words and Gan words. So the shore and the way we spell it is N S H O R E N A. So the shore is a shore, it's like a beach. Uh, which in Ghana means the same thing. Shore, inshore, inshore. So we, we combine it to make it inshore now. But we write it in both Ghana and English. We play on it a bit so that our international audience can also see it and know it's about the beaches. So in effect, inshore is all about the beaches. What is happening to our beaches? Uh, and we trekked from Aflao to Hafasini, looking at our beaches, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the beautiful, and looking at tourism potentials, looking at environmental sanitation issues, but looking at the livelihoods of the coastal communities, the people who live along the beaches, those whose livelihoods are based on either the beaches or the oceans or the, or the immediate hinterland. So it's, it's my idea, I turned 50 and was wondering what to give to society. A number of things came into my mind, but three months to the end of my 50th year is when I've, it, first, it finally dawned on me that look, I could do something about the beaches. First, I thought about general uh, sanitation campaign, right? But then I said, no, I can't take the whole nation sanitation thing and do something meaningful out of it within a short time. So then the idea of taking the beaches on came in. And first, again, it was like, there are 600 kilometers of beachfront, right? Almost. How are you going to do this? But we started the recce, got to Sakumono Beach. When we got there, interesting, beautiful beach. Uh, when the fishermen went fishing, they dragged the net in and it was 70% garbage, most of it plastic waste and 30% fish. I was like, wow, this is interesting. How did this happen? And then you look at the beach, huge beach front, the potential of that beach front, which I've gone back to recently and been very alarmed about the development there and the lack of planning and people just grabbing land. When I look at that, from what we did a couple of well, a year ago when we raised our awareness about that beach to what is happening now, it's even gotten worse. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 very sad. But again, the whole idea was giving back to society, uh, but focusing on an aspect of our life, which is the beach, the beaches, uh, and and so since starting this thing two years ago, it's now become like a passion, and I see it as part of work actually the Sakumono beach is a very interesting beach front in Ghana uh, we have toured the entire beach front of Ghana from Aplau to Hafasini which is about 600 kilometers in all we find Sakumono very interesting because uh, it's one of the longer stretches of beachfronts within the capital city area between Accra and Tema. Uh, when we first visited that place as part of our recce to start the Inshona initiative, we chanced upon a fish catch uh, which was pathetic that the fishermen went fishing for six hours or so. When they dragged the net, they had about 70% garbage, of which about 60% was plastic waste and about 30% fish. So we found that very interesting. Whereas all that garbage may not be coming right from the Sakumono beach front itself, it was interesting to note that two years down the line when we visited that place again, and as a result of the land reclamation and, and the protection of the land that has been done by the government, because, the, the, because of the sea, sea erosion was eating up the place. After all that amount of money was spent protecting the land and reclaiming some of it, what is happening there now is becoming very, very sad. Land grabbing, people building shacks in the name of uh, stores and drinking, drinking places. And we of Inshona are very worried that 
very soon we will have another Sodom and Gomorrah right in the center of, of, of town and particularly between Accra and Tema. People are just building anyhow. I spoke to both the mayor of Tema and the MC of, of Lekma to find out what exactly was happening, how, who is controlling the place and allowing things to happen. They, they did not seem to know much about what is happening. Well, interestingly, it is the media which, is, which has shown interest. And I've spoken to City, Peace FM, I've talked to, spoken to City. City is actually doing a documentary on it now. And uh, of course, uh, Ghana Business News is interviewing me on this particular issue. So the media is interested in highlighting the, the issues. Uh, but that's just how far it can go. The media supported in Shona in highlighting the Lavender Hill issue big time. But we still have that Lavender Hill place there with 50, 150 trucks of liquid waste, right? Human excreta being dumped into the ocean over there every day. And AMA is there. And they are collecting money from those who are dumping it. About 20 cities per truck they are collecting. Because of that, they cannot find ways to shut that place down and as we are speaking that's that spot lavender hill the Kole lagoon with all the bad stuff flowing in from uh sodom and gomorrah which was recently the um, labeled as the most polluted space on earth mm -hmm.